Our holiday light show here at the Greensboro Science Center is beautiful. But this December, there are other winter wonder lights I want you to watch. Unlike our light show here, which we'll have again every year from now, this other light display won't come back this spectacularly for six more decades. And then if you miss these two taking place this century, you would have to wait 400 years more before another one came along that would even begin to rival this. Now, to see this other show I'm talking about, you don't have to come here. You just need to look up because this spectacle is in the sky. And the stars of the show, well, they're not really stars at all. They're planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Of course, there is a real star quite literally at the center of it all. Our star, the sun. When we look up into the sky, this world we stand on is whizzing around the sun, a bit under 100 million miles from it. Jupiter is orbiting about five times farther out than that, just shy of half a billion miles. And Saturn, at almost twice that distance, is a bit under a billion miles from the Sun. Now, the closer a planet is to the Sun, the faster it moves in its orbit. And so the farther out it is, the slower it moves. It's the same physics at work with our lobby's wishing well. The coins spin around faster and faster, the closer they are to the center. Because of this, from our perspective on Earth, once every 20 years, Jupiter passes Saturn, lapping it along their racetrack around the sun. When this happens, as we are looking outward from the Earth, Jupiter overtakes Saturn from one side gets very close to it in the sky, and then moves to the other side of it. Astronomers call each of these 20-year close approaches great conjunctions. Of course, there's great, and then there's really great. On the evening of December 21st, Jupiter and Saturn will come so close in our sky, they'll appear to nearly touch. But don't wait until the 21st to watch. This is more than merely a one-night event. Think of it as a journey you can join along with, watching the whole week before. As the two planets get closer, night after night after night, and watch the week after as they recede farther and farther and farther away. On either side of the peak, Jupiter and Saturn are going to appear much closer than they ordinarily would, even during their normal 20-year close approaches. So, what are you going to need to get a look at this? First, you've got to have a clear, unobstructed view to the southwest, just above and to the left of where the sun is set. Now, you can see it with your unaided eye, but a small telescope at low power or a good pair of binoculars will really help. And most importantly, remember, the window of opportunity for getting a glimpse on any given night is very, very short. You'll only have about an hour from the time it's dark enough to see the planets until they've sunk low to the horizon and are no longer visible. This month's rendezvous of Saturn with Jupiter is going to be something truly special. They are going to be genuine winter wonder lights in the sky. So if you missed this one, 2080 is going to be your next chance. And after that, 2417. And who's got time for that? So take time now to go out and look.